This episode is a prison story about an SOS crit. Prince was a Sons of Samoa member from Long Beach. He was serving a sentence at Lancaster State Prison. In 2008, he was sharing a cell with a TRG member named HL. The Sons of Samoa and TRG usually don't get along because of street politics. But while in prison, the dynamics change, with both gangs rocking with the others. The others are a collective group of people that are not black, Hispanic, are white. Even though Samoans, Asians, and Tongans claim Cripper blood on the street, most don't associate with blacks in jail. They form the others and usually drop past beasts and become allies. So rival gangs like SOS and TRG being together in prison is normal. On February 21st, 2008, Prince made HL lead a cell because HL was threatening to harm himself. He left and was placed in a different unit. On February 25th, HL was placed back with Prince after requesting to go back to his old cell. February 27th, Prince was told by a CO that HL was no good. The CO even gave Prince HL's paperwork. HL told Prince he was in prison for selling work on the street. In actuality, he was in jail for being a child predator. At this point, Prince knew he had to handle the situation. Later that day in the cell, Prince began socking on HL. Prince later told the COs, he thought of many ways to hurt him without taking his life. Prince punched on HL till he was knocked out. When HL woke up, he was fully undressed and his hands was tied behind his back with bed sheets. What happened next gets graphic. Prince stuck a metal object up HL's you know what. After that, Prince went to town on him until he was done. When Prince was done, he threw HL on the top bunk. Two hours later, Prince grabbed HL off the bunk again and forced him to do more acts. HL refused and Prince punched on HL till he agreed to do whatever Prince wanted. Next day, February 28th, Prince was still on the same type of time as he was the day before. He tied HL back up and blindfolded him and used him like a rag doll for over 20 minutes. He threw him back on the top bunk when he was done. March 1st, HL snitched the CEOs about what happened in that two day period. Prince denied everything and said it didn't happen, but doctors used the kit and everything HL said matched. Prince's whole thing was he did what he did because he didn't want to get life. He would have been off better shanking him. He still ended up with the same amount of time. Prince was a two striker and this offense was his third strike and he received life for this incident. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.